Hello everyone, my name is Jeremy Turson. I'm the Legislative Advocacy Manager for Riverkeeper, and I am here today with Assemblywoman Linda Rosenthal, who represents District 67 in the New York State Assembly, which is the Upper West Side and Hell's Kitchen in Manhattan. Thank you for being with us today. Well, thanks for having me. So this is the 50th anniversary of Earth Day, when people across the US first came together to fight for a healthier planet. Now more than ever, people are relying on the natural world as a source of calm and health. Can you please share what Earth Day means to you? Sure, and it's good, it's good to be here. Um, you know, being trapped indoors, if those of us are following the instructions, we should limit our time out, but it makes us clamor to get back outdoors even more and you know people people have taken nature for granted in so many ways but the fact that we are not supposed to go outside and enjoy uh the earth and the environment just as spring is is upon us is really hurtful to many of us and also indicates how important it is to have a thriving good environment and since humans have been stuck inside, nature has been actually allowed to thrive. Um, pollution levels are down across the globe. Greenhouse gas emissions are down. The cars are not out there on the street the way they are. The planes are not flying. Cities with poor air quality see the air quality is vastly improved. LA was just uh, a picture of smog and now you can actually see the skyline. Um, in New York, um, you know, we've heard the same that carbon monoxide has been reduced by nearly 50% compared to the same time last year. So as this virus is, is wreaking havoc and taking lives, um, the life of nature is sort of prospering, which indicates how badly we've been treating and taking for granted our environment. So I hope everybody's viewing Earth Day this year from a new perspective um, and that everyone will keep in mind what damage we have done and keep doing and how we have to change everything going forward. So um, the climate crisis is, you know, it's just laid open here for us. And look what happens when humans retreat and we net let nature do its thing. It's, it's, it's beautiful to see.